Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Crunch Master. These are multi-seed crunchy baked rice crackers. They were $2.50 each at Kroger. I have the original, the rosemary and olive oil. It has the ultimate everything. So. It has everything. It has everything. Made with olive oil, good source of ala, omega-3, no artificial colors or flavors. Um, it's a 4.4-ounce uh, bag. It says, wholesome and delicious gluten-free crackers with a savory taste and satisfying crunch your friends and family will love. They have amaranth, flax, quinoa, sesame. Um, they are four, there are four servings in the container. 14 crackers are 130 calories. It is a resellable bag. Where did you find these? They were over near the bread in our cracker. Oh, okay, so that's like- um, They put like specialty chips and stuff over there. Yeah, it's where the- Stacy's uh, is over there. The pretzels, the snack factory pretzels. Yeah, Stacy's, Popcornopolis, that's all over there. Crunchy. Sesame. No, it's not sesame. No, yeah, it might be a little sesame. Those are good. Um, yeah, so it's sesame. Okay, that's what I taste. Flax, sesame, mm -hmm. quinoa. Get um, that sesame seed flavor. The coating on these, if you've ever had the Blue Diamond Nut Thins mm -hmm. crackers. Kind of reminds you of that. We reviewed them years and years ago. When they first came out. Uh, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, like when our channel was young too. And uh, I'm sure that the video is not that great, but I don't know. But the, the coating on these, it would remind you of those Blue mm -hmm. Diamond Nut Thins. That's, what it, that's basically what it reminds me of. Yeah. I like yeah, it. It has kind of an oily mm -hmm. kind of film on the outside. Yes. Not in like a greasy way, but just you, no. can, you can tell it has a slipperiness to it. Yes, I like it. I like them. And I, you know, it, they're, it's original, but it still has so much flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's the grains and stuff they use in there is just is really, or yeah. whatever they're using for grains. Now this one, you might want to take some of those off in front of a room. Rosemary and olive oil. Wow. It's 130 calories. Now, Kevin's not as big of a rosemary person as I am. They're pretty strong, but not so strong I don't like them. That's good. The rosemary is definitely there. I mean, you know it the instant you put on your tongue. You do? I wish it had a little bit more salt. I That's really love the rosemary. You like rosemary a lot. I don't want it to be too much. But yeah, because it can be overpowered almost to points an earthy floral like flavor. Rosemary to me reminds <coughs> me a lot of sage. Yeah, well, you can go way overboard with that too. Yeah, it, it rosemary and sage are close to me, and so I really like those. I mm -hmm. think it adds a very nice flavor. Now, I would probably pick the original over the rosemary just as an everyday cracker. Cause I don't think, I think I would get tired of the mm -hmm. rosemary, but I think you're not getting a huge uh, bundle of these anyway. No, they're not a lot of them in the bag. Right, <laughs> so, so yeah, so I think you'd be good to get a bag. These are the, wow, ultimate everything. I would think these are gonna have some garlic and onion on This has a different smell totally. Um, they, they say the same thing on the back though. Amaranth, flax, quinoa, these also, no artificial colors or flavors. They're made in a peanut-free facility. 30% less sodium than the leading brand of Cracker. You like these. Oh, yeah. They're good and crunchy, too. Onion, so it has a really onion. good texture. Onion and garlic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really good. It says uh, garlic powder, onion powder. Mm-hmm. That's what you taste. Yeah, and those that's are the, the two last biggest two. ingredients. Those are the, the um, one of the last two, besides natural flavors, those are one of the last two ingredients yeah. in there, mm. and that's the strongest. Yeah, it's very, very strong. Those are my favorite. <coughs> I thought they would be. That will remind you, if you ever buy the um, uh, Everything Bagel seasoning, that is what that is. I mean, it, it has all those flavors mixed in um, into one shaker. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. Yeah, they're really, really good. So I would go those in the original, then the rosemary. 
I would say, yeah. <coughs> yeah. But these are very, very good. I think they're, they're worth two fifty. And yeah. you don't have to necessarily be looking for something healthy or something. If you're if you're mm -hmm. looking for just a good crunchy cracker that has a lot of flavor, these are these are a good alternative. And all of these on the back show them putting something on it, like an appetizer. Yeah, which you good. For yeah, sure. like they're showing cream cheese with avocado. This is good. Cheese a and tomato. Slice of brie and strawberry yeah. preserve. And hummus and roasted red pepper. Yeah, and see, we're not hummus. We, we neither one of us really. I mean, we haven't tried a lot of it either. But, but hummus is one of these things we tried it and we didn't really Care love the flavor. Yeah. So if you like hummus, I can definitely see these being good with it. Absolutely. So I'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.